Sean Grismer. 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 I'm Sean's mom. When I fell, uh, I, I really don't remember, you know, hitting the ground or pretty much anything till April at that point. Uh, my friends were down on the ground floor. Uh, and they kind of watched this whole thing happen. Um, and, you know, it took, it took them a while, maybe a couple months ago even, uh, for them to kind of tell me a little bit of what was going on and, uh, you know, My friend River was saying that, uh, you know, it was basically like a moment of panic where, uh, you know, I wasn't really responsive. Uh, they weren't really too sure what was going on. I mean, uh, my friend Meredith was saying, uh, obviously the thought that, you know, she just watched her friend die, uh, you know, just ran through her mind. So I got a call from somebody, from uh, one of our other uh, good friends, Meredith. Um, and I mean, she was just, you know, hysterical on the phone. Uh, when I got back there, um, they said that they told me about the accident that he'd fallen and they said that, you know, we need, we need somebody to go with him. Uh, this is kind of where it gets a little bit cloudy. We never really knew that um, he was paralyzed until I flew to the Dominican. They said he fell from a balcony um, to, I think they said three stories high. The focus of the night was trying to get an MRI, which they weren't able to get. So I flew out at like three in the morning, I left our house. And, um, The MRI was never done until, so that was a big focus because they were afraid that he had a bleed in his brain. And of course that would be um, scary. And um, the conditions were deplorable. So that's when, I think right around that time, I knew that he had broken his back and that he was paralyzed and we had to get him out of there quickly. This is the gas and brake here. I push for brake, pull for gas. Uh, pedals still work, but uh, I just have like a little switch here. Basically that turns the pedals off and these hand controls on. 
this chair and they put this on the mummy in it. Can you explain what this is? Okay, I don't have a, I don't have any good medical terms. So I, he was asking me and I was like, uh, the thing with the shock. <laughs> hey, can we move this so I can transfer? Hey. Hi. Hi, you're perfect timing. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Perfect timing, you <laughs> say. Okay. Hi. What's going on? How are you? Good. Do you want to uh, do that? Yeah, you can do that there. It's fine. You ever sat in a rocking chair? No. The it like. Oh, okay. Now it's no. You know how it like squeaks, like squeak, squeaks. Squeaks means that. Yeah. Oh, okay. But my back has been doing that. Like, it, if it feels so weird. Like. But like, you mean involuntary? No. Like when I move, it's like, it's like the hardware, I guess, is no, no, that's making some weird stuff. I don't know. I almost threw up yesterday when it happened. It made me feel so weird. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling better now? Or? No. Well, it's like, it, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but this It just doesn't feel yeah. really. I, so I just like sat like this yesterday for like 20 <laughs> minutes. Like, I didn't want to move. Now it's like. Isn't that weird? That's what's happened. Hardware is getting old. We did the study for the last 20 days with this stimulation. And today is just a measurement day. Oh. <laughs> so we are gonna measure using this TMS machine, it's transcranial magnetic stimulation. So what we can measure is the um, response from the stimulation and it tells us about his corticospinal tract excitability. So the protocol that he did was to target the corticospinal tract. So we <laughs> So the trial is, it's like, it's more research based, so their trial is they have uh, 20 days and then they get like, I think 15 or 20 participants, no, these participants they do they, uh, an examination the day before you start, 10 days in, like halfway, and then at 20 days. Did a shock skirt? What? Did a shock skirt? Uh, they don't feel great. I gotta say, uh, that's what everybody says. Like it must be like the most painful thing ever, which isn't true. Uh, but it's definitely not something I look forward to. I think that I was initially. I was devastated. I mean, my brother, who's my older brother, who's been the rock of my family for how many years, all of a sudden I had originally heard he had a brain bleed and he was brain dead and then I heard that he wasn't moving and then I heard that he wasn't waking up and then... And all we could do was wait for word. It, it, helpless. Helpless is how I felt. Um, I, I wanted to drive to Buffalo and, and pick Michaela up and bring her home to her father. I, I, helpless, helpless is how I felt. Mr. Baker, I asked my mom, I asked Sean's friends, is Sean paralyzed? What's happening here? And nobody could give me a straight answer until I went up to the doctor and I found out myself that 
Sean's life was going to be different. I think it was more of like, I think it was more of like a shock seat that I had when I first heard because how could this happen to Sean, you know, like. No, I don't think I was afraid. Sean is like, Sean is the most stubborn, persistent person that I've ever met in my whole life. And I knew that whatever the outcome was with my brother, that that was going to be the best outcome that Sean could have. And he was going to be the best at whatever the outcome was. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? You ready? Uh, uh, I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist, see my dreams unfold, nightmares come true, it was time to marry the game and I said yeah I do, if you want it you gotta see it with a clear eye view. Got shorty, she try and bless me like I said I'd chew Like a sneeze, please for them trick to squeeze I'm getting cream, never let them get in between Or what we started, look, but I'm lying hearted They love me when I was stuck and they hit it When I departed, I go and get it regardless Draw it like I'm an artist, no crawling Went straight to walking with foreigns in my garages Or foreign menagerie Suck it and swallowing anything for a dollar They tell me get him, I got him I did it without an album I did it with Mariah Love, I'm on fire Icy as a hockey ring, Philly, flyer When I bought the Rolls Royce, they thought it was lease Then I bought that new Ferrari, hey, the rest in peace Hey, the rest in peace, rest in peace to the parking lot Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot You ain't talking about my then what you talking about? Gangsters move in silence, and I don't talk a lot I don't say a word, I don't say a word was on my grind And now I got what I deserve Hold up, wait a minute, y'all thought I was finished When I bought the ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was rented Flexing on these I'm like Papa on the spinach, double M, yeah, that's my team, Rose, hey, the captain, I'm lieutenant, I'm the type of kind of men, cast and grind like I'm broke, that Lambo, my new, she don't ride like my ghost, I'm riding around my city with my hands on my toes, cause these want me dead, and I gotta make it back home, cause my mama need that pill money, my son need some milk, these try to take my life, they around, get killed, you fuck around, you fuck around, you fuck around, get smoked, cause these feelings, I pull with me, don't fuck around, no joke, no, uh, we're squatting without the bar now. So. Come on, be a little bit more excited than that. Yes! That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Alright, you ready? The injury was so bad that uh, I, I wasn't able to control any of my abdomen. I didn't have much feeling below my chest. Uh, all the way in the back, my scar runs basically, you know, from my shoulder down to my pelvic bone. Uh, and I couldn't feel any of that, you know, nothing at all. All the way down. Like you feel, feel yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Take your hand and pull it back into it. Hey, I feel it all act. It's gonna be you just know, not you're gonna get it. it. But I didn't ever really believe that he wasn't gonna walk again. I don't think there was ever a time that I really thought that was not gonna happen. Think that the best athletes in the world, for instance, Sean's out there right now training next to Robbie Lawler and Luke Rockhold, two world champion fighters. You would think that he would look to them and say, hey, these are my idols. Quite often, it's the opposite. Trying to get him to walk, they were just trying to get him to be independent. 
where Barbas is like, no, we can do this. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna try, despite the eyes we're given. Since, uh, since Sean has started here, um, he started off with pretty much no feeling at all. Um, kind of coming down from the chest all the way down, and now he's gotten sensation all the way down into his feet. He's got movement all the way down into his feet. Um, been able to get him up, walking in a walker, being able to pull his legs through by himself. Um, and he's, he's made tremendous progress, tremendous progress, and he can only go up from here. That's what life's supposed to be about. And Sean coming in here with his attitude and his energy and vivacious personality and his willingness to drive and aspire to achieve his goals allows everyone else in the room to do the same. When anything occurs in Hampton Bay, the community rallies. That's total process. Huge. Um, you know, Hampton Bay is number one. Uh, I can vouch for that. Every single person in this town loves this family. And Sean is like excelling. He's, he's, he's like embracing every day. And I, I feel like now he knows what strength he has and he knows how much people care. Well, part, they weren't, it's not like, oh, you know, like the community was, they helped raise half of the money. They were all of the money. All of the money that helped Sean get out of the hospital into the first rehab in New Jersey and then into Georgia and even Florida now. It, it's all the friendship of everyone in the town. It definitely needs to be out there, you know, for, of course, for fundraising and for him to get more money to continue to be able to walk. But just the story, just as a story, he's an amazing inspiration. So it all goes together, I think. I said this at senior dinner, varsity dinner, two years ago. I said, Hampton Bays is the greatest community you're ever going to live in. The GoFundMe page was supported beyond my wildest dreams, and I can't thank everyone enough. We are putting together a golf raffle for Sean. The following golf clubs have agreed to give a foursome. Shinnecock Hills, National, Sabonic, The Bridge, Friars Head, Maidstone, West Hampton, Hampton Hills, South Hampton, Atlantic, South Fork, East Hampton, Noyak, Gardner's Bay, North Fork, Baiting Hollow, The Vineyard, and Laurel Links. Two golfers. Some of those are the greatest golf courses in the world. Uh, there are, I believe, seven in the top 100 in Golf Digest that you cannot get on to play. To play an unaccompanied foursome at Shinnecock is $2,000 to a member's account. If you don't know a member, you're out of luck. They are making an exception for us to benefit Sean. We are selling 500 tickets at $200 per ticket. On this website, you can click on the link and buy your ticket. On May 30th, Thursday night, we will be having a cocktail party at Oakland's Marina where we will be drawing the tickets. You do not need to attend. You're more than welcome to attend. We'd love for you to attend. Uh, we will pick the tickets there. You will be notified. You will use the foursome this year, 2019. There are, res there are some big restrictions on a lot of these groups. Monday to Thursday only, September and October only. You still have to pay your caddy fees. Um, again, to the golfers that are watching this, 
you understand this. This is the greatest golf courses any of us ever dream of playing. And it's a spectacular opportunity. And again, all of the money goes to Sean. Not one penny of this is in overhead or anything like that. The tickets are being printed free for us. The, again, the community support is overwhelming. Different ways, and I know we try to make everyone know that we're appreciative, um, but it's so busy. You, know, you, you wonder if everybody gets that message back from us, uh, but we really are thankful. Um, we've been blessed and really appreciate everything.